Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm a freshly 31 weeks preggers and um And um, right now, the easiest thing to jump into is um, a little dress. I don't know why I didn't start um, vlogging. For, I mean, every single week throughout my pregnancy, I've taken, maybe I've missed a week or two, to be honest. I've taken a video of like the bump and where she's at and how I'm feeling that week and like new cravings and stuff like that. So I do have those, but um, in terms of like picking up the camera and actually vlogging, <coughs> I have been vlogging throughout the entire time, obviously, but I just have not shared that aspect of anything because I've been living in the moment, moment with my pregnancy and I've also, on top of living in the moment, I've also been working a lot, sleeping throughout the days. Like right now, it's after 4 p.m. This morning, I came home. This morning, I went to um, Duncan. My friend and I stopped at Duncan before we came home and we really wanted to try getting this ham and Swiss croissant stuffer that they, they now have. It's brand new. I tried it and I loved it. And I bought one for her last night because last night when I was on my break, I went to Duncan and she loved it as well. So this morning we wanted to stop by and buy three, two for one for me. And then we wanted to buy some matcha, but the Duncan that we went to was super busy. I bought the matcha for her, but I never ended up getting anything for myself because one, it was too full and two, I had a matcha last night and I'm just like, okay, if I'm not going to get the thing, I'm just not going to get the matcha either. And I just didn't get anything for myself. I was so disappointed. I'm like, I need to come out of here, but I got the matcha for her. And so, um, I forgot what I started saying. I've been living in the moment with my pregnancy and my pregnancy to myself because it's one thing about black people. They will ruin things for you. We're not talking about you guys here on this platform. I know this is a safe space. And you guys make it very safe. Oh, do I need to fix my hair for tonight? Tonight is my last shift before two days off. So I'm not exactly trying to do too much. We can make it work for tonight. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're living in the moment, enjoying baby girl growing. She's so big. But I was randomly sitting at the table eating breakfast at 3 p.m. because work and sleep and growing a baby and preparing for her has just been crazy. The more I talk, the more I remember things that I want to talk about, but the more I forget things that I initially wanted to talk about. As we're talking about growing baby and all of that, her room is not ready to accommodate her. And I don't think that that's necessarily the worst thing in the world, considering the fact that when she's born, we're going to co-sleep. So she's not going to be sleeping inside of her room for right now, at least maybe six months. This is what I'm thinking. I don't really know. I'm just saying this. Anything could change. But um, I really wanted to have that experience of having her nursery ready and cute and functional. But that is not my reality. And that's not okay, but it's okay because I really did want that. But um. I have to just live with the idea that that didn't happen and, and, you know, move on. Anyways, I'm talking about too many things all at once. So I bought these on Shein. These are sports bra. I didn't, I don't know if I'm having any more kids after this little bunny rabbit hair. And so I didn't want to get things that are so specific to pregnancy because I already have clothes like this little dress that um, would stretch and accommodate me during my pregnancy and would be fine. So I'm like, you know, I don't really need to buy much. And I feel like... I'm not like huge, so my clothes could still fit. And if all else fails, her dad's clothes will fit. So I went on Shein and I bought these sports bra looking, what are supposed to be maternity bra. These ones you can open all down the front. But obviously my other daughter is a teenager and I don't know that these fit me because I was reading the reviews and of course people are telling you, oh, they fit big, get us size down to the people on the internet and so I did size down and obviously they're too small and let's keep in mind that my boobs are not engorged yet with milk and so when that happens how exactly are these gonna work out you know what I mean um they aren't and so I said I was gonna leave these I'm gonna put these in my daughter's room so she could have these she could take the padding out and just order these as like um 
Little sports bras, honestly, because these are the things that are never that serious. If she's anything like me, I, um, I don't really like a lot of clothes. So a lot of things like this, and you can wear this underneath here. I don't know. I'm just not throwing it away because I already bought it. I'm not returning it because I don't want to have to go through that. And I'm just, I can't. I'm 30 weeks pregnant, out of breath, tired. I can't. So we're going to put these in the room that they both will share. The placement of the bed inside of this room and everything, it gets, I'm so sorry, it gets such good lighting. So you're going to put these in a drawer. When I said the room is like a storage unit, of course there's the bed, suitcases, and those are all her her nursery things. Just, you know what I mean? Just not ready. Just nothing. So that's where we are. But, you know, 30 weeks nonetheless. Bumping and bumping. I don't know what to say. We're going to put these in this little drawer here. Oh, there's no space to be a functioning human being in here. So big and juicy. <laughs> it's like a watermelon. Literally like a watermelon. I just seen a mailman coming from in the back and I'm wondering if there's anything out there for me. But also, I do not want to go downstairs and check if I'm being completely honest. So... We're probably gonna just ride the wave on this one <laughs> but um yeah that's all i have going on for right now i'm going to oh i might as well just show y'all it's about damn time I, I started showing you guys the things it's okay but i'm just talking this is my little pregnancy journal got it on amazon by the time by the time you're watching this I'm probably going to already have a tab on my Amazon storefront for baby and for baby things. So you guys will be able to shop all these other things that um, I bought if you are a parent and if you are interested. Okay. Probably going to call it all things baby. I just need to open my computer to create that list. What was the last thing you wrote? Oh, a letter to my baby. Maybe I haven't written in here in a few weeks to be complaining out because... I sometimes forget it's asking if I'm having a baby shower. Not exactly. 28 to 40 weeks. It's back here. Last time I wrote was 28 weeks. 27. And I love this book. It has a lot of things like um, a little crossword puzzle. Maybe it's too overexposed for you guys to see. Like just all types of little fun things. A letter to my baby. There's a lot of pages to write a letter to my baby. I guess I can build on that. Last time I wrote was 28 weeks. Now I'm 31 weeks. So I'm going to have to go back and watch the video of like 29 and 30 weeks to see how I was feeling. And jot that down. Um, for a while I was very, very emotional. Like excessively emotional right now. Mm, not too much. But like, you know. Mm. I need to get a pedicure. Um, my toes really look bad. But I'm trying to save it for the next time I go to get a refill. Which should be in five days i mean obviously any minute now because my nails are grown out but also they're doing so good even though they are grown out so i don't really know i guess whichever one of the days i feel up to it maybe since i'm off this weekend maybe tomorrow i want to go out there and like make a day of it i don't really know i have to see how i how i feel um but yeah that's that's what we have going on at um 31 weeks you know baby is growing and glowing and i'm so grateful to my body because that's also what i've been going through lately just expressing so much gratitude to my body to have been able to one conceive naturally and two um carry this baby thus far and while keeping her healthy and happy for 31 weeks because I know that a lot of women struggle with fertility and I've watched lots of videos with um, women not being able to get pregnant naturally having to try IVF and having kids are such um, important things to them you know and sometimes I feel guilty because we weren't trying when I when I got pregnant I mean obviously we weren't doing a good job of preventing it either but like you know we weren't actively trying to have kids and so 
to not be actively trying and have and conceive and there are people who have been trying for years and you know it's just a little bit sad and I've worked with I work with people who have been experiencing the same thing too and while I shouldn't allow that to take away from my moments and what I have going on in my life you know you still have feelings and and it is sad all right that's all we, I just turned today's Friday I just turned 31 weeks yesterday so it's not like a full week of being 31 weeks um to be able to give you guys like a full recap or anything but I could tell you what, what's been happening at 30 weeks. This always happens to me. I end the video and then I'm still talking. Um, baby is moving a lot. She's very active. Love that for her. Especially when I lay on my back, she goes to town. I'll see if I have like a little video that I can insert. I think I got one this morning of her moving around a little bit. But like, it's not like my, my stomach is super stretched out where you can see her just rolling on the surface. But you can see her. She's very active. I'm not really having any cravings right now, but I really do love chicken and I've consumed a lot of chicken throughout my pregnancy. Not so much red meat. That turns me off a little bit. Right now I'm obsessed with pink lemonade and for a couple of months I was obsessed with some popsicles. I, I repurchased them, but um, I haven't been so obsessed with them right now, but I just have them there for when I feel like I want something cold. That's also another thing. When I eat something cold like a popsicle or ice at work she moves around so much so love that for us love that for her she loves moving at nights but i might not feel her moving during the days because i am sleeping during the day so there's that too um so far we get good sleep i'm not uncomfortable i'm telling you i'm so grateful for this pregnancy because i'm not experiencing a lot of aches and pains like a lot of people are because i know that pregnancy is rough and I'm not it's just emotional, emotional. My responses are quick and they're very sassy. They're not great. So I've been doing some work on myself too throughout my pregnancy to, you know, not answer to everything, not be graceful towards some people, understanding that they don't understand what I'm going through emotionally. Um you know, just just all of that. But we'll chat again at 32 weeks. And for the remainder of the pregnancy. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah. <laughs>